Hi everybody, this is Sunera again from Itsy Bitsy and I'm here to show you the new Itsy Bitsy foam boards which are really versatile. They come in a variety of different colors. I've just got a couple of them here. And along with that, the new Itsy Bitsy foam cutter. Extremely economical and also it's really marvelous the way it works. Now when you first get the foam cutter, what you gotta do is take out the little battery case and slip in two uh, 1U batteries which are basically 1.5 volt batteries. Uh, you get them at any store. Clip back the case and then you're ready to start cutting. You gotta press the button at the base of the um, cutter and then what happens is this copper wire gets really hot and when it gets hot it just slices through foam as if I mean I can't even describe it's just fantastic look at that I just slice through the foam in whatever shape direction or whatever I want it now the the implications of this are limitless there's so much you can do you can create really big school projects and stuff like that but what I'm gonna do is look at creating some Christmas ornaments um, here I've got a little snowman which I've cut out um, using my cameo machine and I'm just gluing it on in place on this silver foam board. Then all I gotta do is use that as a guide and cut around it. So I'm now, I've now put the video in super speed. Please don't think that I can actually uh, cut this fast. It is a little time consuming. I just turned on the light because I couldn't really see too well. But what I'm just doing is using the template as a guide and just cutting around it, taking off the little scraps of foam board that appear. Now the cool thing about this itsy bitsy foam board is that there's just no mess. It's very similar to the thermocol. It's got the same, you know, thickness and you know, when you hold it, it feels so similar to thermocol. But when you cut it, there are no little scraps of thermocol filling up your space which fly uh, you know with your as soon as you know as if you exhale <laughs> those little bits of thermocol just fly over the place i mean thermocol frankly i had my time with thermocol in school but right now i don't think i could do it so these foam boards are they give you the same effect the same result the only difference is it's so much easier to work with and it comes in all these fabulous colors so you can really create uh, you know an unlimited number of craft projects to suit whatever you need the minute I got these I thought Christmas ornaments let me just make my own Christmas ornaments hang them on the tree I mean there's nothing better than that so I'm just about wrapping up this uh, snowman and um, once that's done I'm ready to start bringing it to life so I'm gonna color the little twig arms with the most obvious color brown and when I, once I do that, I'm going to take my black marker and color up the boots because every snowman needs to have nice black boots, some black buttons, a lovely black pair of eyes and smile. And I'm finishing it off with some green mittens and a nice green hat. I thought I could use a splash of red in there, so I left a band which I'm filling up with red. Isn't that cute? My little snowman <laughs> I felt that the, um, the snowman's hat and gloves could use a little definition so I'm just outlining them now my next project is a Christmas present for this I thought I'd use the blue foam board that I have once again I've just cut out the template and I'm just running my cutter alongside it really easy to do and then once I'm done with that I'm, I'm gonna actually use the blue color which came with it and I'm sticking the little embellishments on top uh, which I cut out using um, some pattern paper and there I'm done my little Christmas present is done as well finally I thought let me just do a big bright Christmas bow um, I'm gluing that onto the silver foam board and my cutter is literally marvelous it just slices through the foam board exactly where I want and you know what's really cool is that the, that the, the edge that you get when you finish cutting is one smooth professional edge it's you know like when you go to you know these these exhibitions where they're exhibiting stuff it's like professionally done and it's so economical this cutter 
Once that's done, I'm just going to glue again some lovely red Christmassy pattern paper on the bow. Because after all, Christmas bows have to be red. <laughs> and when I'm done with that, I'm just trimming off the excess and defining the bow with my trusted red marker. Almost done here. Just doing the outline real quick. And once that's done, all my three embellishments, my ornaments are ready. I wasn't 100% happy with this Christmas present, so I thought, let me outline it. Um, I don't know whether it's really redeemable, but I'm just going to try. There, just about finished. Now, I was going to just use them as ornaments, but I thought, why not also add them as embellishments on cards? So I had some green glitter foam from Itsy Bitsy. I combined that with some black cardstock. And similarly, I took some red glitter foam and combined that again with black cardstock. I've just left a tiny rim of black around because I really like that effect. And then I'm just going to glue my bow on the face of the green one and the snowman on the face of the red one. Uh, actually, I'm really happy with this. This is a nice 3D card, so easy to make, so original, and really happy. I'm, I'm really pleased with this effect. I think finally I'm going to use this, these, these little snowmen and whatever I create, I'm going to be using them as cards rather than ornaments. Well, that just about wraps up my demonstration. I hope you can see the true potential of the foam board and the foam cutter. I hope you found this useful and stay tuned for many more tutorials from all of us here at Itsy Bitsy.